Getting a research paper published in college has a lot of advantages. Not only does it get you better job opportunities, better internships, but it also helps you in securing admits from some of the top universities abroad. But often lack of research facilities and proper guidance prevents us from getting into research. Then how do we publish a research paper in such a case? Well, let's find out. Hi everyone, I am Neha Agrawal. I'm the founder of Eyes of Communications. When I was in college, I managed to publish three research papers. One during my undergrad and two during my master's. So in this video, I'm going to share with you how to publish your research paper while in college. The first way to get your paper published is through a research internship. And that is how I managed to publish my first paper as well. I was coming from an undergrad college which did not have good research facilities. And therefore, I wanted to do a research internship in one of the eminent institutes of India where good research facilities were available. And to secure this internship, I sent out emails to a lot of professors in different IITs of India. And finally, I managed to secure an internship at IIT Kharagpur. Now to know how to write such emails for research positions, I have actually made a video in the past and I've linked it down in the description below for you. So you can check it out. Now these internships are of very short duration because they generally happen over the summer break of two months. While conducting research and writing a research paper can sometimes take up to one to two years. So the idea here is first to choose a research topic which is small and can be completed in a given time frame. All you need to do is make sure that you complete the experimentation part during the internship. And once your internship is over, then you can stay in touch with your guide, consolidate the results and write a research paper. And that is exactly what I did. Now to publish your research paper also, you have two options. Because the research project you've taken is a small one, it's obviously not any groundbreaking research, but a small novelty that you've identified in a research field, right? So what you can do is either go for a traditional route and try to get yourself published in a journal, or what you can do is try to attend conferences and then you can get yourself published in conference proceedings. So after my IIT Kharagpur internship, I presented my work in two conferences. One as a poster presentation and another one as an oral presentation. And later on, the second conference accepted my work and decided to publish it in their conference proceedings. However, my guide did not want me to go ahead with that and so later on I managed to get it published in a journal. But conference proceedings are also a very good option to get published. In fact, they are easier to get yourself published as compared to a journal. Now to learn how to write a research paper, how to choose the right journal for publication, also how to prepare posters and communicate confidently in conferences, you can join me for my certification course on writing and presenting your research. In this 12 hour course, you will learn everything from how to start your research all the way till how to get yourself published. To know more, the link is given in the description below for you. Now what we discussed just now was option number one, where you get your paper published through a research internship. The second option is to get yourself published by going through your normal semester routine in college. Now the first thing you need to do here is identify a research topic based on the kind of research facilities that are available in college. And why am I saying that? Say for example, you choose any research topic out of your own interest. But if you don't have the right research equipment to conduct the experimentation or the right instrument to test your results, then you will not be able to produce a quality paper. Also, generally in an average engineering college, half of the time goes in arranging the research facilities than conducting research. So if you're not confident about the research facilities, the best way is to go for computer-based research where you don't need any sophisticated instruments and all you need to do is download a few softwares. So this kind of research is either theoretical-based research or simulation-based research. Now a lot of students have this doubt that because I'm not conducting experimental research, I will not be able to get myself published in a good journal. That is not true. 
some of the theoretical research and simulation based research are the best in the world and get published in really renowned journals. Try reaching out to your seniors or faculty in college to know more about this. Once you finish your research, you can follow the same process to get yourself published, either through a conference or through a journal. Now, one thing I would like to tell you here is that when you're going for college based research, make sure you start early either in your second year or at the beginning of your third year. Why am I telling you that is because it's not going to be like a full time internship where you are continuously working on your research project. You will only be working on this after your college hours. So you need to ensure that you are able to complete this project ideally by beginning of fourth year. Why again am I asking you to do this is because the publication process also takes time. So if you finish it at the beginning of fourth year, then you will have enough time to go and get yourself published. Finally, coming to the third and the last option of getting yourself published and that is through writing a review paper. If you feel you don't have enough guidance or resources to conduct scientific research, that doesn't mean you can't get yourself published. Don't worry, you still can and that is by writing a review paper. Watch a clip from one of my previous videos to understand what a review paper actually means. If I explain it to you in very simple words, a review paper is like a summary of other research papers. What you are doing is you're consolidating the information of other research papers and presenting that information to the reader. You are not conducting any research of your own here. So basically what you need to do is identify a research area on which a review paper can be written. Do a thorough literature survey, go through all the research papers in that area, understand what other researchers have done and then do an evaluation of their work. Compare the different studies, see which study is better than the other, see whose results are better or how this research can be improved. Consolidate all these findings and then write a review paper on it. To know more about how to search and download research papers, how to avoid plagiarism and how to write a review paper, you can check out all my previous videos. Otherwise, if you need proper guidance and want to learn everything from me in detail, you can join me for my certification course. The link is given in the description. So guys, that's all I wanted to share with you today. Hope this video gave you enough understanding about how to go about publishing a research paper in college. Once you start the process, trust me, it's not that difficult. All it needs is your dedication and motivation to see it through till the very end. And now, thank you so much for watching and I wish you have a fantastic career ahead.